Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to start with les adjectifs possessifs. Ça va? So, adjectives you already know. What are adjectives? These are the words which describe a noun. Okay, they are also called describing words. Right? For example, good, bad, tall, short, all these are adjectives. They help to describe a noun. And possessive means possession. Okay, those words which show possession as well as they also are adjectives. These are called possessive adjectives. For example, my house. Here, my is possessive adjective. Right? Why? Because it is telling whose house it is. So, it's an adjective and then it also shows possession. Right? That means when we talk about possessive adjective, there are two elements to be considered. One is possessor and second is think possessed. Right? Possessor is the one who possesses the thing. So, we are going to cover possessive adjectives in two parts. First, I will tell you table 1 where the possessor is singular okay and then we will do table 2 where the possessors will be plural so as you can see in the table if possessor is je possessive adjective will be mo if thing possessed is masculine singular ma if thing possessed is feminine singular me if thing possessed is plural Okay. Similarly, if possessor is tu, possessive adjectives will be ton, ta, te, depending upon the gender of thing possessed. Then, if the subject, if the possessor is il or l, that means third person singular, possessive adjectives will be son, sa, se. Okay. Let's try and make a few sentences and we will also see how to use these possessive adjectives. Je vais à l'école avec dash père. Alright? I go to school with dash father. Right? So obviously I'll go to school with my father. And father is masculine singular. So if you can see in the table... Down below je, we have three options, mo, ma and me. But mo will be used with masculine singular. So here we are going to use mo pair. Je vais à l'école avec mo pair. Let's see one more example. J'aime dash mère. I love my mother. Okay. So now mother is feminine singular. And come again to the table. What will be used with feminine singular? Is ma. So ma mère. J'aime ma mère. Let's see one more example. Je joue avec dash cousin. I play with my cousins. Now the thing possessed is cousins. That is plural. So in the table what is used with plural is me. Je joue avec me. Cousin. Let's try to make a few more sentences. Tu vas à l'école avec ton père. You go to school with your father. Similarly, if the subject becomes il. Il va à l'école avec son père. He goes to school with his father. And if the subject becomes she. Elle va à l'école avec son père. She goes to school with her father. Now, if you have noticed in sentence number 5 and 6, we have used son père when our subject was masculine and son père when our subject was feminine. Okay. So, that shows irrespective of possessor being masculine or feminine, we have used son because the thing possessed that is père is masculine. So, we have chosen masculine form of possessive adjective. Okay. So, the note here is 
gender of thing possessed will be considered and not of the possessor okay so as we have done in example in sentence 5 and 6 thing possessed is masculine so we will use masculine singular possessive adjective irrespective of the fact that possessor is masculine in fifth sentence and feminine in sixth sentence one more thing has to be noted here if thing possessed is singular and starts with a vowel then we always use masculine form even if thing possessed is feminine right let's understand this with an example akash a monami okay akash is my friend so friend here is masculine singular let's see one more sentence akanksha a dash ami now here ami is feminine singular but is starting with a vowel so ideally there should be akanksha a ma ami because she is feminine but according to this rule this exception we will not use ma we will use mo akanksha a mo nami right i hope you have understood let's understand this with one more example i go to my school okay school in french is ecole right and starts with a vowel and ecole is feminine singular right so the sentence will be je vais a mon ecole i go to my school and not my ecole but if this thing possessed is plural then there will be no changes for example akanksha a akash so me zami okay so there are no changes in plural form so this was the table number 1 that we have finished now let's come to table 2 when possessor is plural okay if possessor is nu our possessive adjectives will be notre notre no okay if vu is the possessor the possessive adjectives will be votre votre vo and if third person plural then ler 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 let's understand with examples okay comprenons avec des exemples nous allons à l'école avec dash per now here we want to say that we go to school with our father so father is a masculine singular so if in table we have to encircle which possessive adjective to be used then see down below nu we have three possessive adjectives notre notre no and father is masculine singular so it will be notre nous allons à l'école avec notre père let's try and make one more sentence we go to school with our mother nous allons à l'école avec notre mère okay because mère is feminine singular so notre will be used here let's try to make one more sentence nous allons à l'école avec dash parents we want we want to say we go to school with our parents now here parents are plural okay so with plural we have to use no n o s so this sentence will become nous allons à l'école avec no parents similarly if the possessor is vous so the sentences will be like this vous allez à l'école avec votre père then vous allez à l'école avec votre mère and vous allez à l'école avec vos parents right and if the subject or possessor is il that is third person plural we want to say they go to school with their brother so this sentence will be il vont à la maison avec leur frère okay because frère is masculine singular so leur okay let's try and make one more sentence they play with their cousin sister okay so cousin sister will be feminine singular 
and they. They means il. So the possessive adjective will be leur. L e u r. Il joue avec leur cousin. One more sentence. They eat with their parents. Okay. Il mange avec leur parent. Here we have used l e u r s because parents are plural. Okay. Now let's try to make one more sentence. They do their homework and they here means all girls. Okay. So the sentence will be l font leur devoir. Why? Because devoir is masculine singular. So if we can see in the table. With il l plural, l e u r has to be used with masculine singular noun. So this is how you have to locate or you have to, you know, uh, finalize which possessive adjective you are going to use. Okay, l range dash chambre. They arrange their room. So again, it will be leur. Try make one more sentence. They play with their cousin sisters. L joue avec. Leur cousin. All right. Okay. So I'll give you a few practice sentences. Try and fill in the blanks with the possessive adjective, appropriate possessive adjective. I love my family. Jem, ma famille. Okay. Richa mange dash petit déjeuner. So petit déjeuner is masculine singular. And Richa is third person singular, so we have to refer to table number one. Okay, below L, il and L, the masculine possessive adjective will be son. Richa mange son petit déjeuner. Okay, il vont dash voiture. Again, how we will locate or finalize which possessive adjective to be used? We will first look to the possessor, which is il. So that means you have to refer to table number one. Then we have to see think possessed if it is singular or plural. So it's plural. So we will directly come to the last row. Okay, which is say. Ils vont say voiture. Next one. Nous parlons à dash grand parent. We talk to our grandparents. Okay. So now we have to again see nous is the possessor. So we that means plural. It shows we have to come to table number two, and with nu, we have to we have three options: no through, no through, no, and then we have to uh, look at the thing possessed, which is grand parent, which is plural. So we have to write no grand parent. Okay. Next, tu fais dash devoir. Tu fais ton devoir. Next, Akash et Mahi vont. A dash a col. Akash a mahi vont a lur a col. Okay. Let's see one more sentence. Elle écrit une lettre a dash sir. She writes a letter to her sister. So the possessive adjective will be sa sir. Mes parents n'atwa dash maison. Now here, the meaning of the sentence is my parents clean. They are cleaning. They are cleaning house. Okay. So now we have two options here. Either either we can say my parents clean our house. Okay. Or we can also say my parents clean their house. It will entirely depend upon the situational. Okay. It's situational. If you are living with them, then it will be our house. And if you are living separate. Okay, if uh, you are living in another house and parents have their own house, then it will be their house. So it has two correct answers: me paron natwa notre maison or me paron natwa leur maison. All right. I hope you have understood this whole topic of possessive adjectives. If you still have problems, please do write in comment section. Say to Purojudvi. That's all for today. Keep practicing. A prane swadvu. Take care of yourself. Au revoir. Bisu bisu.